Hey guys, Andrew from 911 South. So we're gonna do a quick one. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick install video on the Renline cell phone holder, magnetic cell phone holder. So this is a newer item from the Renline catalog. Um, they had a sale over Labor Day. I went nuts to put it lightly. Um, ordered a ton of stuff. So I'll be doing a, several install videos on floorboards, pedals, e-brake, handle, uh, door sills. Uh, but this cell phone, magnetic cell phone holder looks really cool. Um, looks like a great solution for you know an air-cooled Porsche in terms of like where do you put your cell phone where it looks clean it bolts on to the uh, clock um, and looks like a super clean install so I'll do a quick video on how to do it that way if you pick one up you can just reference this and uh, put it in really quick all right guys so uh, Renline made this pretty easy so there's really only a few parts to this uh, most important part is this um, which essentially is the bracket. Um, this will go around the clock face as so. Uh, part number two, this small little metal ball. Um, this essentially is what connects the bracket to part number three, which is the magnetic holder. Um, so this is what will connect to that ball. That way it swivels, pivots, gives you kind of uh, 360 degrees of flexibility. Um, and then uh, the last piece, of course, is this, which are magnetic uh, pieces which attach to the back of your phone with adhesive. Um, so first thing we're gonna do um, is put the aluminum ball um, that's supplied into the metal bracket um, and then use the screw um, basically through the back of here to attach the ball. So we'll take this screw out. So there is a screw in the top of this uh, metal ball. It's black. We need a uh, little hex wrench here. So we'll take that out, give that a few turns and that is loose. Now there is a small um, washer here that you wanna be careful of, but then we'll thread this back through with the head, like so. Screw this down. Finger tight and then give it just like a quarter turn there. Okay, so that is uh, super secure. Ball is now attached to this piece, and the next step is going to be to uh, just basically attach this to the clock. Basically, take this uh, screw out. So there's another uh, hex screw here in the end of this piece. So uh, we're going to take that out. Same size, of course, for ease. That essentially uh, will loosen up this connection for the ring so that you actually, as you can see now, pull this. You have the ability to open this up. It's got some play. Uh, this will allow you to um, basically slide this over the clock, um, which is the intention here. So we will uh, take that out all the way and then I'm just gonna turn it a couple turns just to get it as loose as possible, still attached, that way it's a little easier to tighten down. So the last step is gonna to be to take this clock uh, gauge right here, your furthest right gauge for those with the left-hand drive, of course. So we're gonna just ease this out and uh, put that ring right where it belongs. So what I would recommend to do that would be to take a small screwdriver, like I have, and um, you know any flathead with a small enough head, um, wrap the end of this in some painter's tape or something to protect it. You could use a rag, but you know something to really ensure you don't scratch up any of this and just basically Come in here on the corner as carefully as you can. Use some of the leverage from the dash and uh, just free this up. All right, so I actually went ahead and pulled the clock all the way out. Um, I think it's probably easier directions say basically just do a quarter inch and sneak it in and keep it in the dash. But I think it's honestly much easier to get this where it needs to sit by taking it all the way off because it needs to sit right there. Um, and that way the gasket can come back over essentially and be folded properly to where it needs to be. Contrary to the instructions you get from Renline, my recommendation would be to actually pull this all the way out, okay? Um, and so essentially, we're gonna call it good right about there. I wanna test fit this a little bit before we push it 100% back in, but uh, go ahead and put the speedometer back in its rightful place. Make sure that's straight. Okay, we're good there. And so yeah, now we're gonna just, I wanna test this real quick. Make sure that, you know, this location makes sense. Uh, with a phone. 
and if so, I think we'll be good. So that would pop there. Yeah, I think that's gonna make sense. Make sure it's you know out of the way of the driver's seat. You know, it's kind of the main goal. So yeah, I think we're good. So we'll pop this clock back in. Give it a nice snug push. Back where it belongs and uh, we'll tighten this up with the uh, supplied screw. We'll also tighten this. Pop this screw back in the end, just to pull this uh, bracket back together. Okay guys, so uh, that's it. Essentially, um, at that point you're done. So you got nice, um, you know, easy placement for your phone. Um, really allows you to, uh, you know, now have a modern option of a phone, hands-free, you know, hands-free talking, all that good stuff, you know, kind of right where you need it to be. So. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, you know, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, you know, add the channel uh, if how to and Porsche and those kind of things are your thing. So uh, appreciate you tuning in and uh, stay tuned for the next one.